Hello everyone, Afterman John here, and welcome to Lorwyn. So, Lorwyn. It's all tribal shit, right? I think so. Uh, changeling stuff. What's this thing do? Huge 6-6 six, six flyer. That's ridiculous. So, non-count... You gain life instead of losing life to <laughs> non-combat damage, and... It never truly dies. Yep. That seems good. Yeah. Other notable cards, Scarblade is fine, Changeling, Lash Out's really Isn't good. Isn't this card pretty good? Yeah, it's okay. Murders flyers and just gets, and just yeah. gets bigger and bigger. It all seems to be a 1-1 one, one or a 2-2, two, two, though. Sure, but there's like infinite elves in this. Uh, whatever. There's a lot of elves. There's a lot of Changeling. Too. We could take Why? Guile as well. Sure. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> the six drops that just are so hard to deal with, I guess. I don't know. I suppose we, yeah. Otherwise, like, Weed Strangle is pretty good. Hmm. So I can adjust how loud they hear you to hear you a little bit better. Uh, which one's Weed Strangle? Where am I looking? Just oh, destroy, target. destroy target creature, clash, you can gain life. Eh. I mean, it's a card. Mm -hmm. Um. Guile's really big. <laughs> Guile is big. I'm just gonna take Guile. Yeah. We'll just have Purity, Guile, etc., 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 etc. Hmm. Could take Vivid Creek, I guess, because we're going to need mana fixing. Other yeah. options are like Broken Ambition, which works with Guile. The uh, Thorn Tooth Witch can be broken. Whenever you cast a tree folk, how can it be broken? Oh, Terror Creature plus the Ministry. Oh! I was reading it as Giant Growth. It's uh, no. actually just, you know, Nameless Inversion. Yeah, it murders stuff a lot. Is it? Well, going. I mean, we could. Huntmaster is pretty good, too. The elf guy. Yeah, I, I've played with this before. I know it's pretty sick. Do we want something like this? Or do we want, like, a Vivid Creek? Because we got two six drops that want triple mana? Let's just take the land, I guess. I mean, I think it's a safe pick. Oh, Crib Swap. Or Hostility, because, you know, we could have three different... <laughs> but, oh. I think Crib Swap's right, right? Yeah, Crib Swap's pretty strong. It's, it's Path. Yeah, it's... Kind of. Pseudo Path. Yeah. If Hostility wheels, maybe we could play three color elemental incarnations. <laughs> I think you will have broken ambitions if that happens. What? Nothing. <laughs> Okay. I heard something about broken ambitions. So yep. I oh. Oh. Well, that's just mean. <laughs> Never. I'll just draft all the vivid lands forever. Ooh. There's what? the merfolk guy. What's this thing do? Make some merfolk. Untap it and gain shroud. Yeah, so it's basically worse. Um. Oh, what's the card? 3-3 three, three, that makes Kithkins. I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, Cloud Goat Ranger. Cloud Goat Ranger. Because I naturally know everything. <laughs> um, Whirlpool Whelm is pretty strong. What's it do? It bounces a guy or puts it on top if you win the clash. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to take that. Uh, uh um, Lignify is removal. Yeah, it's pretty much a bunch of garbage. Hmm. Zephyr Nut is kind of removal. Just makes it a big defender. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is it what you'd ever want to use? Maybe. It's not bad. Mm. Better than Lignify, I guess, because Lignify is three color, but we do have Vivid Lands in this format. 
Well, how are we going to be in green? Maybe. You never know. Fuck it. I'm taking Lake 5. <laughs> because then I can pick up Vivid Lands! I don't know. I, I think it's better than Zephyr. Nah. At any rate. Mm. Uh, Vivid Land is good. Is Deep Tread Marrow decent? There's a lot of Merfolk synergies. It's also Kith King Great Heart in white. Mm -hmm. Which works well with any of the shapeshifters. So, what? Oh, yeah. which of the three do you want? Probably just the random 2-1. Probably the rando 2-1 over a vivid line. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I could see it. I mean, we do need creatures at some point. Creature with the highest converted mana cost is production from all colors. Well, I think we'd have the highest converted mana cost creatures. Right? That's a lot better in the red-white deck when you have the giants. Yeah. Still not great. I mean, we have good cards in this pack. There's Fairy Trickery or Sentinels. Yeah, I, I was just reading this. So it's counter target non-fairy and exile it. So Sentinels is just a or a flash guy. Probably just the flash guy, right? Yeah. Good thing, because I ran out of time. Um, <laughs> so this is our opening pack. Yeah. Could just take that, but it's double green, which makes it awkward. None of these are really good. Could take that. I'll just take this, because it deals with flyers, and we might have flyers if we aren't fairies, so. Sure. Uh, and shields of Valesville, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Better than my uh, <laughs> moment. Um. Well, you see here. Alright. Oh, that one's actually decent. Okay. Sort of. I mean, fixes mana. Slowly. It is playable. It looks less playable than it feels, or it feels less playable than it probably is, but it's probably playable. That card's weird. Yeah, it is. Random rare. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, right now we could choose even and all our creatures would gain haste. <laughs> Just saying. They would put zero as even on there for the bad mathematicians. But see, all our creatures gain haste and the guy we give them comes in tapped. <laughs> sure. That seems like garbage. Oh! That's Chandra. probably pretty good. Right? Yep. So, welcome to Infinity Color Mode. <laughs> Probably cut the Lignify, but we'll see. Well, um, yeah, definitely we're cutting the Lignify. I mean, Chandra is powerful enough to take it, but something has to be cut here. Unless Off we draft Infinite Vivid Lands! It still doesn't work that way. I mean, Shut up, it does if you wanted to. Wow, Thundercloud Shaman and Hamlet by Goliath, both of which are absurd. Yeah. Huh. Do we just take one? Definitely. Which one do we take then? Uh, they're both kind of broken. Now, if we were to cut the blue, say, we would have a kind of natural extension to go back into red-white giants. We could. It's an option. Which one is more broken? Well, Thundercloud can be just dumb. Yeah, I remember th this from Modern Masters Original. Yeah. This card, Seems I remember cool. from Corset and was completely stupid in Corset. It's just big. Yeah. I think I want big that can wipe the board. 
Okay, there's a blind spot giant. Yep. Still not certain which color gets cut between the blue and the white, but we'll see. I mean, white is more giant based, but you never know what happens. <laughs> Force fruitition, that's funny. Love that card. Yeah, that's uh, it's fascinating. <laughs> What's this card do? Can block it's an just creature an and gains first strike if it blocks two or more guys. Yeah. Costs six. Ugh. Ugh. Yeesh. We could take smoke breeder or smoke breeder would help with our elementals here. These are both elements. Yeah. Alright, let's take a smoke breeder. Never know what you want. What wow, you some of the schools a broken card. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a look first, but. Unfortunately, you wanna be white blue with it, though. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. I mean, we could take Soulbright Soul Flankin. Yeah, but I think this card's just broken. It reminds me of Sprout Swarm. <laughs> it feels also fairly similar to Battle Screech. Yeah. <laughs> just in the, oh, I make tokens. Oh, I guess I get more tokens. I get even more tokens. <laughs> What's this do? It's bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too great. What's uh, this do? Huh. Can become, like, bad mana drain. Interesting. Yeah. What? I mean, Oaken Brawler is fine. It's just a uh, 2, 4, 3, 5. I mean... Sure? Could just take a counter spell. Broken ambition. Well, I'm thinking blue is gonna get caught, right? Well, I'm thinking I don't know. But I'll take Oak and Brawler. You never know we what will happen. You definitely can't do all of this. Sure, we could. Clearly, you've never stretched from animus like I have. <sighs> Although, this card's really good, right? For us. Yeah, it could be okay. It's not. Spectacular. I mean, it makes our oh two giants <laughs> cost yeah. less. Burnt and Forge Tender and Blades are also pretty good. Yeah, that, I I mean this card is solid. It sees modern play as a sideboard card. Yeah, but that's just because everyone plays anger. <laughs> Blades is a lot better than it looks. It looks like garbage, but. I was beaten by that in GP Vegas. Yeah. The guy went... Well, I told you that story, right? Where yes. the guy had two attackers and he's like, Blades, Blades, Brute Strength, Brute Strength. I'm just like... <laughs> I was <Yep>. at 18. <laughs> Should we take uh, another three drop here? What's this one do? It's even worse... What do I, why do I keep forgetting what that card's called? Cloud Goat Ranger. Cloud Goat Ranger, yeah. But it could be actually not bad. Minx guys. It does uh, cost it. Cost infinite, though. We'll take another 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, the 4-3 is very good. It works with changelings, too. So now is this when we grab this? Or do we grab one of these for our summon school? I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably this is the point where we grab this. Yeah. Well... Just another random 2-4. I mean... Sure? We could grab like this, you never know. I'm going to put this in the board, because we're not going to play another one of the two fours. I know that for a fact. And really? Oh, well, I feel like we wouldn't. But we're going to have to have... Fine, we can pick up another one here, then. Because we don't need another six drop. Yeah. 
and garbage. Oh. Okay. Sure. Early burly. Cards garbage. Okay. Unless you have like six of them. <laughs> yeah. And then they just suddenly are like, by the way, you're dead. <laughs> Even at one man, I still don't think it'd be that good. I suppose it depends on the format, because I remember in, uh... Oops, a good Glen. Is that worth anything? Probably not. Well... Uh, Muldrifter, though. One ticket. <sighs> Muldrifter. Why are you so Why is that common? Yeah, I think I'm grabbing a Muldrifter here. The only other... The only... Uh, giant is this thing. There's yeah, this guy which works with giants, but Moldrifter's just insane. Right? I mean, you seriously have to question what blue cards are you really going to splash for just Moldrifter? Yes. Okay, well then I guess you take Moldrifter. <laughs> that is a definitive yes. I will splash for a Moldrifter off of one island and some vivid lands. <laughs> oh, this guy's good though. So is this guy. Yep. But... So is Aether Snipe. So is this. So is this. Well, no, that's not. Hardfire. Yeah, so anything in, like this zone here is pretty good. I think this is the one I want though because it puts in our random six drops. Because. That gets sacrificed and then gets shuffled in. <laughs> yeah. It's like super awesome value, man. Also, um, Smoke Brady works with Moldrifter, which is funny. Yes, it does. So see, I did make the right call. We can cut most of this other junk, though, probably. Wow, that's a big card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well... Hunter of Eye Blades is absurd. It's the best card in the... Well, Epic Proportions is the best. Hunter's next. Silver Good Lancer is really good. Yeah. Uh, we could just take random Kithkin Healer or random Axe Grinder Giant. Do we need another 6-drop, though? <sighs> well, there, we only have one 6-drop. We can't play Guile. We have, sure we can. We have, uh, have Soul Bright Flank... Or Smoke Brader. We could take a Spring Leaf. We can play Kyle. Shh. Um, actually, though, uh, which is. Is Kitkin Healer better than, like, Skirmisher? They're probably roughly the same. I'll take a healer. That's fine. Oh. Well, there's also this. Yeah, the Goliath is. Goliath Online, I think. That card's big. <laughs> Goliath Online. <laughs> oh, that's a thing, right? Yep. Searches up Thundercloud. Seems decent. Does not draw it, puts it on top. Yeah, well, all the Harbingers put their things on top. Uh... How the Lullaby is kind of broken sometimes. Don't untap. It's probably a lot more broken in our deck with all the infinity drops. Yeah, Interflame Acolyte's solid. Yeah, th mm. that yep. was actually what I was originally looking at, and then I was like, this seems alright, too. Why would you... Oh. What? Wait, I'm, oh, I'm trying to figure out why you'd want this over this. You wouldn't? Oh, I was misreading. I thought this was like an instant for some reason. Oh, it yeah. felt instant-ish to me. This card's fine. Yep. Another Forge Tender. Well. Sure. Why not? It dodges Thundercloud Shaman. <laughs> it does dodge Thundercloud Shaman. <clears throat> hmm. 
Yes, I know what you're uneasy about, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> I can read you over the mic. I'm mean, like, I know what you're what you're going <laughs> uh, about. <laughs> I mean, we ended up a little light on the giants, anyways. So, I mean, we could take this axe grinder one. What's soaring help? Looks awkwardly not great. Yeah, it's pretty bad. X Grinder Giant's not terrible. I mean, sure. It's Six four is quite big, and sure, it would be a good replacement for Guile. Good <laughs> 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 you know, Changeling's good. Good replacement for what? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, oh. yeah. Don't need a second one of those. I guess we can't activate secondary effect. So, but look. It has like an owl head. <laughs> How can you beat that? <laughs> Very easily by beating yourself. Fine. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, some of the schools not looking that great either. Zero Merfolk to return. Except for that guy, which is also bad. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess we could just be playing Oaken Brawlers. We did cut, like, all the Merfolk, I suppose. Yeah, Merfolk's really good. This looks like a deck. Still play the Vivid Creek, I guess? Ooh, Boat Mapper. <laughs> sure. Well, why not? What are we going to use the goat for? I don't know. But. It's a goat. Uh, sure. I don't know how often we're clashing, but. It's not very good, I think. How often are we clashing with this deck? I don't even know. Not at all. Clash, clash, clash. Yeah. Uh, but still. Clash. Still gonna splash for Moldrifter, because I think that's right. Sure. That one you're actually willing to accept. You're like, alright, I can see that one. <laughs> I guess we don't need this. What about the stupid twig? It can fetch the island, which we're gonna play one island. Okay. Plus, sometimes with our mana b curve being all the way up here, we just need to make sure when we hit lands. As, as unfortunate as it sounds, sometimes we just gotta hit the lands. So, something like this, probably, I think. Sure. Alright. See how it works around?